first of all open up Windows Live Movie Maker and in this other folder I have three pictures you could add as many as you want of course but I'm just going to do these three for an example so I select them and drag them over here into this area and you can see this is the playhead that I'm moving back and forth if I was to play through these pictures it would actually play right now as a slideshow it's just not terribly interesting there's no movement there's no transition and there is no narration so the first thing you probably want to do is make sure they're in the right order if you want to change the order you can slide them around just by dragging them and dropping them where you want if you double click one it'll take you to the edit tab and you could set the duration for the pictures here you can see that it's by default at seven seconds on each picture if you go to animations you will see on the left all of the transitions that you could have and over on the right you have some pan and zoom that will give us some movement so I'm going to select that picture in the middle and when I tap one of these transitions it will add that to the picture so if I pull this down I can see all my different transitions and I actually want to get to the dissolves I usually like to just keep them simple and I like that one the blur so I could either drag the playhead over this to see what it's going to do or I could just press play and it will show me then the other thing I want to add is some type of animation on this picture so I'm going to put the playhead there and you can see like this one will move the camera up I'm going to drop this down and go to a zoom out let's try this zoom out right here so now when I move this over it gives the effect of the camera panning so what you want to do is go through each picture select a transition if you think it needs one and then select one of these animations if you want some movement in the picture and you would do that for each one now for the narration take the playhead back to the beginning of your video and then go into the home menu you'll see right here is record narration and it's quite simple as soon as you click that you only have a few buttons you can record start talking and then you'll stop so I'm just going to press this you can see the playhead is moving and it is recording test one two three then I'm going to stop it it's going to ask me where I want to save that I'm going to just save it to the desktop I'm not even going to change the name and then it adds the narration right there so if I play this you can hear it you can see the playhead is moving and it is recording test one two three and it's that simple to get your narration and if it's not as long as the whole video itself you can drag that to different positions as necessary and you could record it all at once or in parts if you want to add music to it right here you can click add music and on your computer you can browse to a file those are the main parts of making a narrated slideshow don't forget when you're all done to save your movie there's the project itself which is all of this but if you want this video to be something that you can share with someone else you're going to want to save the movie so when you drop this down there are many options I usually just pick recommended for this project it'll ask me where I want to save that you can name it whatever you want and then click save that makes the file that you're actually going to share